I'm Dylan and welcome to Twisted Rich Garage. What's up guys and thanks for joining me on another episode of Twisted Wrench Garage. I hope you guys had a Merry Christmas. We got New Year's right around the corner. That's going to be fun. But we're back out here working on the old Dodge again. Like I said before in the last video, we're going to start pulling this motor out. It's already pretty, pretty ready to come out. The only things we really need to take out, uh, we need to pull the radiator fan off, power steering pump, starter, uh, get the radiator out of the way. Uh, bell housing bolts and then I believe motor mount bolts and we should be ready to get this old girl out of here. So let me get you guys in a spot. Let's get to work. Trick is you gotta get free from that transmission. Plus we got our exhaust manifolds holding this up. Exhaust manifolds aren't fully free. Go ahead, you ain't gonna, it ain't gonna fall on it. I know, I was trying not to break the spark plugs though. I gotta let them down, I can let them down. Probably wise. Here. Get it off the back back there. There you go. 
then we got to get the other side. I think we've already pulled away. Yeah, we've already pulled away from the transmission. We're free there. The engine out that was nice and easy you guys can see it uh, all pulled out and removed it was a really easy job really wasn't much left to do after I pulled that whole top end apart but here's our engine you can tell gross that's all feces and dirt mud oil just caked up in there if I was more interested I'd pull that cam out and see what uh, these lobes look like, but you can kind of see it from right there. I never right there. Nah, it's all right. It is all right. But yeah, I mean, this thing is nasty. It is. It's lived its life, guys. It's lived its life. It'll get redone and put into another another vehicle at some point in time. There's our. Oh, caught my string. There's our flex plate. We're gonna have to move over the oil pump, or not the oil pump, but the oil pan. I've already messed that, board, that one up already. So we'll have to move over the oil uh, pan. Uh, we're gonna reuse the stock intake because all the, all the aftermarket ones are all generally made for 318, so they have smaller ports. So you're better off just going with the factory four barrel intake for that. I mean, you can see it looks, it looks almost as like, almost as bad as that black pearl engine was. Just super grody, but yeah, a few hours, uh, a few hours of work and we got that engine all out of the truck. Um, I think tomorrow our plan is we're gonna power wash inside underneath here. We need to get that other engine um, over here and ready to go for it to get slapped in. Um, we got some headers that we're gonna throw in, so we'll need to pull these uh, these manifolds out. The manifolds, we're gonna get rid of those. We already got rid of the smog pipe set up. The, the, the pipe down at the bottom, we're, just, we're, gonna, we're gonna end up having to cut that off because we don't have the header flanges to, cut, to, to match it all up and kind of do the exhaust the way it should be. So that's something you're gonna have to take care of yourself on your end but man it's out so that's uh that's another step in in the, in the, in the way of progress i guess but uh what time is it now do we know what time it is like four o'clock something like that probably gonna have to be calling a quit 322. here 322 yeah we're gonna have to end up calling it quits here pretty soon my uh my oldest son starts his first day at work today super excited for him i'm sure he's super nervous uh, but yep, yeah, got to get him taken to work at five. Um, then uh, we, we're probably going to take some things home tonight to get them painted and taken care of. Uh, maybe taking his oil pan off of here, uh, taking the intake with us for sure. That way he can, you know, wire brush it and paint it and those kind of things. But that's it for today. We'll check you guys out tomorrow when we go to start throwing this engine in, hopefully. Well, we said it was the end of the day for today, but we came home and like I said, we were going to be getting some parts cleaned up and getting them ready for paint. But so I figured I'd, sh I'd share that with you guys. Uh, we started cleaning the intake manifold. I'm going to show you guys some pictures of some of before uh, and then I'll show you this after. Uh, but the before is really gross. Here they are now.
but this is just a little bit of the nastiness that came out of it i mean i mean we've we've been sitting here out here cleaning for a good while i mean and that was all inside there we used some carb cleaner we had to clean clean the inside of it out a little bit but as of right now this is where it stands we've got we've got it all wire brushed and cleaned and prepped and ready to go got this all taped up ready for paint i'm gonna go ahead and throw a layer of primer on and then we're gonna go uh silver he wanted to go with the aluminum silver then we're gonna clear coat that give it a little bit of a protection so let's get that taken care of We're using an engine high heat paint. This is just our primer right here. There we go. Just spraying all kinds of weird. I'm just doing a real light coat right now. It's not super heavy. And I'll come back with a heavier coat of primer after this dries. I just want to give the primer something good to stick to. Uh, I also uh, was watching a video of one of Uncle, to Uncle Tony's garage. A big Mopar guy on the YouTube. Uh, he, uh, when he's doing these paint jobs on blocks and on uh, like intake manifolds that are like iron. You don't want to be doing this on aluminum. But on like this one I took, I took a little blowtorch and I just kind of took it over the whole thing just to kind of burn off any grease and any water that was stuck in the pores of the, of the iron because it is a very porous metal. So it does tend to grab and hold on to a lot of different liquids. So, I did go over the whole thing with that. It gave us a good oil-free surface for us to put our paint on and primer on. Now I'm starting to get a little bit heavier because we're, we're running with a little bit of a lower temperature tonight. It's been getting warmer, but these lower temperatures are gonna make it a little harder for this stuff to dry. I got a little space heater. I think I'm gonna put over in this general direction. All right, so that's a good enough coat for now. I'm gonna let this dry. Then we've got some silver that we're gonna throw on top of this with that pri with the uh, co uh, clear coat. So we'll bring it back when we go to throw those other coats on.
That's the last coat of the primer. Then we're going to move on to the color after this. Ben's over there cleaning parts with a wire brush and a drill, so I'm going to throw this color on. No, you're good. Keep going. these sprayers are they seem, they seem all bro, bro, broken I have to like push down super hard to get it to spray that's a Riley paint for you <laughs> oh boy that's a nice silver Spray knobs are really messing with me. What? The spray nozzle is really messing with me. I'm gonna change out the nozzle on this head, I think. Alright, I changed a little nozzle out on this one for another can that I had. Because this was spraying all kinds of weird. Oh, that's so much better. I can just barely squeeze the nozzle. What's going on with that spray paint, guys? We need to get that fixed. Those new nozzles, if you change them, are garbage. That sprays so much better with this old nozzle that came from a can that's probably four years old. All right. I think I'll let that dry. We'll go another coat on it. And then we'll go clear, I think. All right, guys. Little update on what we've been doing here. Uh, we got all the parts cleaned and painted and ready to go for tomorrow when we get out there to try to get that motor swapped into that truck. Uh, we did get all the brackets and stuff painted all black. The intake, we got that all painted and clear coated and that's all looking really good. Uh, there's the intake. It looks a lot better. Definitely a night and day difference on that. Then we got uh, got the accessories, like the alternator bracket, we painted that black along with throttle cable linkage. Might be a little hard to see because it's all black, but um, power steering, one of the power steering pump pulleys with its uh, spacer and then these are, these go under, underneath that attach the bottom of the block to, to the bottom of the transmission. Uh, just some extra bracing, but I mean, it's all looking really good. Looks a lot better than it did before. Should look really good on that new motor going in uh, big blue out there. So, now, that's it for today. It's like 11, 11, 20 at night, something like that. So we're gonna go in, hang out, get some rest, and we will see you guys tomorrow. What's up guys? We're back again on another day at Twister Wrench Garage. Uh, we're back out here working on the 84 Dodge. Like I said, our goal is going to be to try to get this engine thrown into the truck today. Um, we're definitely going to try our hardest to get it get it completely done. But uh, here's our engine. Uh, it is a 75 block, 11, 4 of 75. And this has all been gone through, like I said. My uncle pull, uh, reminded me that we're going to need to change out this bottom pulley because this engine is from a 75 and they didn't have as many accessories. So we're gonna need to change that out. Went ahead and pull the water pump off, clean that area off. 
uh, for the new one. Nice and clean. We do need to change. We do need to change the oil pan from the car pan to a truck pan. And we've got a couple of those over here. We're gonna get going. Uh, we've got a new oil pickup that we're gonna get going as well. Uh, we've got Ben over here cleaning up the old lifters or the old uh, rocker arms and the rocker arm shaft and the, and the bolts that go to them making sure that they go back in order exactly the way they were because these have spacers in between each of the two rockers to keep them at their certain distance so he'll get those all cleaned up and we'll start throwing that all back on the motor too but what i'm working on right now is i'm actually taking i'm actually going to be taking each one of these lifters out one by one and i'm going to throw some assembly lube on the, the mating surface on bottom and on top and on the camshaft all the way through i'm going to put the push rods in i'm going to put a little bit of assembly lube on the push rods on the tips on both sides i'm also going to put some assembly lube here on the valve springs themselves on both sides uh, that way because this motor has been sitting for a year i want to give this this motor the best best chance possible of not you know damaging anything when we go to fire it up again for the first time in you know the year um there were a few valves that, that did, did uh, end up having a little bit of moisture on them they just got a little bit of rust but we just went ahead and threw some uh, pb blast on those to get them going get them soaking but man this motor is nice super clean i can tell this is a low mileage motor for sure it's been gone through at one point in time in its life and uh, like I said, I believe it has somewhere around 5,000, 2 to 5,000 miles on it at max. So I'm going to get you guys set up and I will start throwing this uh, assembly lube on all these parts. guys i went ahead and got this uh driver side all put together got a uh, assembly lube and all the all the valve springs all the bush rods lifters cam lobes went ahead and installed this 17 foot pounds on the torque um here's what it looks like before or after and then that's what it looked like before nice and dirty so ben's gonna go get that cleaned up so we can get that slapped on and we can flip this over and start getting the oil pan put on all right guys we uh we got as much as we possibly could get done today i know i didn't record a whole bunch um we were on a limited time crunch uh ben is only here till the end of the day we reached the end of the day motor isn't unfortunately in the truck uh today unfortunately but uh we'll be able to get it but we'll be able to get it in um there was some things that i wanted that I, we needed to get taken care of before we could slap this uh new motor in big blue out there um ben did go ahead and get the end uh under hood transmission power washed underneath there got that nice and clean i'll show you guys that here in just a minute um but when it comes to the motor we've got we've got it relatively all put together now um let me flip you guys around here so right now we've got intake manifold we got the oil pan on new gaskets on the oil pan intake manifold we got our valve covers on we got a brand new water pump um i did go ahead and mount the alternator bracket and this is this actually goes to the power steering bracket over here the we went ahead and moved over our timing indicator we do also still need to move over our old pulley uh this pull this motor uh is from 1975 so this particular motor didn't have a bunch of accessories it probably just had one belt running the alternator and the power steering with the water pump um or just vice versa but who knows but we need to get that swapped over uh what else do we need to get swapped over we need to swap over our flex plate uh this motor didn't have one on it so i'm gonna need to pull the flex flex plate off of his motor and slap that on there we got a new pickup oil pickup put in that's all good to go i mean right now we're just letting the intake set let it let that uh thin layer of rtv 
I don't know if you guys can see there, I did go ahead and use the these uh, wall gaskets here. Um, I went ahead and did a thin layer on top and bottom. That should be fine, front and back. Uh, same thing on the water pump. The gasket there, I did the same thing. Layer on both front and back. But, might have to bring a can of black spray paint up here for you, Ben, and hit this oil pan. Like make it look a little bit better underneath there because we weren't able to paint that because this was something we had to actually uh, find here at the shop because the one off of his engine I can guarantee you is going to be completely full of crap and uh, cleaning that is just not worth our time. Um, this one did get cleaned up. It wasn't it wasn't as bad as what you know that one is going to be, uh, but we did get that one cleaned up, uh, so it's all good to go. Let me show you guys uh, what Ben did out here to the truck when it came to power washing. You guys can kind of get an idea of some of the dirt. I don't know if it's easily visible or not, but I mean, there's just clumps, clumps of mud, dirt. I mean, it, it's all the way out over here underneath this charger over here. So I'm gonna say he got got it relatively clean. Yeah, I'd say he did because before I couldn't even see that cross member. That was just it was like that thick of mud and dirt. The inner fenders are looking really good. All of it's looking really clean in there now. Really looking good. These inner fenders look really a lot better than those uh, those other ones that you had. That's for sure. Huh. You can actually see the stickers on the power string pump. USA, baby. USA. We got some new power steering lines to throw on that. I mean, we still got some stuff to do uh, when it comes to finishing up the truck. You know, we got a few things to do. Power steering lines. We got... Uh, you know, obviously to throw the motor back in. I've got some wiring stuff to take care of, but Once this engine's in and we get it fired up We're gonna be really close finally to getting this truck up to Wichita so he can actually enjoy it uh, But we do need to get the truck pushed back in we're running out of time today um, Get the truck pushed back in get the motor moved out of the way We've already got our mess cleaned up, but like I said, that's that's gonna be it for today We're gonna go and have a friends miss with our friends uh, we cel we're celebrating our Christmas a week a uh, week later after uh, after so because we had uh, we had some stuff come up for Christmas that we had to take care of you know you know you, friends misses always afterwards or before but I do appreciate you guys uh, tuning into this episode um, next week we will be going ahead and stabbing this motor in I I was hoping I could get it done today but unfortunately wasn't able to so I do appreciate you guys tuning into another episode. It was, uh, it was fun getting all this uh, new motor stuff put together. Um, so I'll see you guys on the next one. See ya.